Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. The lasso tools let you draw either freeform selections with curves or straight edge selections for irregular polygonal selection shapes. The magnetic lasso tool is a really neat selection tool that allows the selection's border to snap to the pixelated edges of an element of the image that you trace. This can be very useful for selecting objects with complex, irregular edges set against a high contrast background. Because each tool behaves differently, we'll have to look at how we can use each tool in the set on an individual basis. So let's start by examining the lasso tool. To use the lasso tool, click the lasso tool button over in the toolbox. It's located right here. If you right click on it, you'll see the different tools that we'll be looking at here, but we'll give a left click on lasso tool to select it. Once again, in the options bar, you can select what type of selection you want, a new selection. You can select if you prefer add to selection and so forth. You can affect your feathering and anti-aliasing options, just like we did in the marquee tools. Then to create the selection, you just click and drag with the mouse to draw a freehand selection. You trace the outline of the area that you wish to select, making sure that you drag it back to the origin or the starting point. Now, if you happen to release your mouse before dragging it back to the starting point, Photoshop is going to draw a straight line from where you stopped dragging back to the point of origin for you. Let's take a look at this. If we, for example, want to select this palm tree here, the first thing we're probably going to want to do is zoom in. So to do that, again, we can go ahead and select our zoom tool there. and We're going to zoom in so that we can get a little bit more of a precise selection. So we'll switch back. To our lasso tool and then to use this remember we'll just click and then start to freeform trace in order to get our selection. Now again this can be a very handy tool for an irregular shape like this depending on what you're trying to select but it can be very touchy. Remember what I said that if you accidentally release it there it's going to draw a straight line back to the point of origin for you thus not creating the selection that we really wanted. In this case we would just click out of it and start over. Now depending on the project that you're working on, the selection that you're trying to make, there might be times when you are trying to select a straight line that you purposely want a straight line. So to do that you can use this tool and you use this in conjunction with the Alt key on your keyboard. So you click on your image. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out here to demonstrate this. So we're going to hold this down and then we're going to hold down our Alt key, then release the mouse pointer, and then click to draw our straight line. When you click again, you're activating fastening points, and then you can draw a line back to the original part. Now, at any point, if you want to delete one of these fastening points, what you would do is stop clicking but hold down the Alt key and then press the Delete key on your keyboard and that will release that last fastening point. So that's how you use the lasso tool and in that case you would draw straight lines with it if you like. Now note that you can mix this method with the freehand drawing as well as I said so depending on what project you're working on, depending on what you're trying to select, you can use that and mix the two by selecting Add to Selection and so forth from the Options bar. Let's go ahead and click out of here. To use the Polygonal Lasso Tool, we click the Polygonal Lasso Tool button in the toolbox. We'll right click and choose that. And once again in the Options bar you can select the type of selection you want to make just as you did with the other tools. To use the Polygonal Lasso tool, click from point to point where you want to draw a straight line for your selection. Once again, you want to end by clicking on the initial starting point of the selection. You'll see a small circle next to the Lasso tool when you're over the starting point. You just click at that point to finish the selection. Also, like the Lasso tool, if you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, you can draw a freehand line until you release the Alt key. So this is the inverse of the behavior of the Lasso tool. So again, with this, you would click and you would draw your straight lines all the way back to the starting point until you see the small circle appear, and that would be your selection. Click out of there. Now let's take a look at the magnetic lasso tool. And we, this works really well when you have an image with irregular 
um, sometimes jagged edges that's on a high definition background. So we're going to take a look at, click out of here, and we're going to take a look at our ducky picture here. This is a really neat tool to use. First, let's select the magnetic lasso tool. Give it a click. And then let's look at the options that we have up in the options bar. The first few options are the same ones that you can set for your other selection tools. We've got the add selection, new selection, so forth, our feathering, anti-alias, and all of those um, other options that we have. But we have some additional options here. We have width and with the width text box you can type a pixel range from the pointer within each magnetic lasso tool where it will look for the border of the item of which it's tracing. So it depends on you know the type of image that you're looking at and um, how far away that selection border is going to be from what you're trying to choose there. Next you can set the edge contrast. That's right here. This box and this sets the sensitivity of the magnetic lasso tool to variations in the contrast between pixels which is how the tool finds the edges of image elements so if you set a higher percentage this sets the tool to only find edges that are sharply contrasted with the surroundings a lower number detects lower contrast variations in color so you have to really kind of play around with this contrast setting depending on the image again that you're working with the frequency text box right here allows you to input a number between 0 and 100. A high value increases the frequency with which the magnetic lasso tool sets its fastening points for the edge of the image element as you trace its border. Now if you're using a stylus tablet you can also check or uncheck the pen pressure checkbox right here. If it's checked an increase on the pen pressure causes the edge width setting to decrease. Once you have all of your settings that you desire, you can then click and drag the pointer of the magnetic lasso tool around the border of the image element that you're trying to select. As you do this, you'll add fastening point anchors where it discerns the edges of the objects. If it adds a point that you would rather not have, you can press the delete key on your keyboard to delete the fastening points that you've created as you drag. Then you can dra back up and then redrag the line. You can also manually click at any point as you're dragging to manually set a fastening point. You may need to do this in crevices and corners of the image element. To finish the selection trace, your way back to the starting point and place the magnetic lasso tool over the origin point until you see that small circle next to the tool. Then you click there to close the selection. You can also close any selection you have made by double clicking at any point along the way which will draw a line from where you double clicked back to the origin. So let's go ahead and just give this a try. We'll go ahead and click here at a starting point and then we'll just slowly drag around and we'll see that even if I pull my hand out a little bit further it's going to snap that line back to the edge of the selection for us much faster than just a regular lasso tool with this particular type of image. You'll see all the fastening points that get applied as we're going. So depending again on your image and what you're trying to achieve here, you can go back into the option setting and change your settings if you need to change the sensitivity and that kind of thing. Get back to the setting, release, and we have our selection. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachyoucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high-quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy-to-use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!